We're live from Houston, where the crowd is on their feet. And we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. A battle in the Western Conference. This Houston go. crowd hoping to watch their Rockets come out on top. So the Rockets win the tip. NBA appearance for Mac. You know, and what a huge moment this is for him. I mean, your whole life has been spent leading up to this, and, and finally he's going to get to take the court in the NBA. I mean, his mind has to be racing like a million miles an hour. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I mean, there are all different kinds of pressure situations. This is about as nerve-wracking as it gets. But even so, I don't think it takes away from how much he enjoys it. Now here's Fareed. He got right to the cup using that screen. Well, you know, Hall of Famer and three-time champion Kevin McHale, the Rockets coach, did nothing but find success and win as a player. And, you know, that's been the same song for him as a coach. And for Coach Kevin McHale, last year was his best. A lot of people thought he could have been easily the coach of the year, leading the Rockets to their third best regular season in franchise history. And, and, and Kevin, with McHale, he's got this team improving every year. His team's win totals have risen as well statistically as, as I think, becoming a better team. Wins aren't always necessarily what determines how good you are. Here's Moutier following the basket by Dwight Howard. Now, Moutier inside. Here's Nurkic, plays it up and banks it in. Nurkic has got his first points in this one. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Lawson, and it's Denver with the rebound. And Matt kicks to Chandler. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. It's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. And he's starting to get what he wants here early and often. Nice move. Now, here's Moutier. He's guarded closely. Comes up empty down low. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. A reason no luck. The Nuggets trail by three. Nurkic a screen on Harden. Here's Moutier. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Mac, good. And what a feeling it's got to be for this young player is that last bucket represents the first official score in the NBA for Mac. You know, you, you got to be happy for him. I mean, that's a great way to open up his NBA scoring account. Well, everybody is happy to see him put the first points of his career on the board. Coaches, fans, teammates, everybody. Stolen by Harden. There's the pass to Howard. Good. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. And, guys, Dwight Howard's an interesting guy, one of the most physically imposing players in our league, and yet he's known for his lighthearted, almost playful nature. And for Howard, his parents raised him to keep a smile on his face and stay upbeat and remain positive. He's done all those things and still competed in the rough-and-tumble world of pro basketball. Yeah, and yet some of his peers and contemporaries have gone at him. Durant, for instance, Kobe Bryant called himself, Byron Scott question his desire. Guys go about their work in different manners. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. No, it all